What do you think, girl? Come here, Mace. Come. What do you think? You having a good time? Yes. That's Macy the Mountain Dog. Dogness Mark II out with Dad testing gear in the great state of Wyoming. Look at this cool cabin we came across. So cool. Could be something if someone fixed it up. Just time and money, right? Always time and money, especially the latter. I would love to know what this looked like when it was in operation. Huge old concrete slab laid there. Big electrical boxes in the back. Maybe some type of farming support building. That's ah, sad, it's so beat up right now. A lot of effort went into this. Great lumber too, that's really good lumber. Dogness has her shoes on, which prevents her feet from getting cut. Last time we were out in this direction, uh, she got her feet cut with some bob wire, pretty bad. So there's buried bob wire in these parts. We are out in the Wolverine. Still in the project. Watch for my review. A little bit late in coming, but I'll put that out sometime. <laughs> little snow cone action for Dogness. She's so fun. Yeah, we use it as much as we can. Great support vehicle for uh, what I do out here. And today, maybe some long range if I can get organized enough and find the right place. I'm gonna make my announcement on some very special TMP blades right here, right now. Out on this outing, this will be an in-field review. In-field review, so I hope you like it. Look at this cool little trailer. Army trailer. Docking into the mothership. Now, for sure you guys have friends and family you know this, but in case you don't, in case you're new to the project, let me explain. One of the all-time best gifts you can ever give any of your friends or family would be a Victorinox Cadet. Here's one of mine in the slate gray Alox handles. I've had this one for about 20 years, something like that. It's been a long time. So this is not a special edition. This is just a normal one. I did have it laser engraved when I did my blue special edition TMP Cadet through Cutlery Shop. And I'm gonna show you some inset video of what that one looks like, specifically number 357. That thing is highly collectible. 357, yeah. Really cool blue coloration. Congratulations to all those TMPers who bought it, uh, well, at this point, many years ago. So it's been out for a while. But this is the Alox version. I love the Alox Victorinox pocket knives. I've labeled this one TMP carry number six. You might surmise that I have a bunch of cadets. You would be correct. I use them a lot. Basically, I have a cadet on me every day in every system. And I use it about I would say on average four times a day. The tool set on the Cadet is fantastic. I think you guys know this. It is a very popular knife within the project. So many people have it. So many TMPers uh, have watched my reviews and glowing praise of the Cadet have integrated it into their systems. And I've heard nothing but good reports. And you've become an addict like me, not just to the functionality of the Cadet, which is high, but also the second cool factor, that is the collectability. This one is actually collectible because they discontinued this coloration. It was just very short-lived. Granted, I have a lot of wear and tear on this one, as you should on yours. So as a reminder, super quick reminder, it has the basic tools you'll need. So you have a flat blade driver, a wire stripper. I actually never use that part. Uh, a nail digger, nail file mini pry bar. I use this all the time. These are made out of 4110 stainless steel, high chromium content, very rust resistant, very easy to sharpen. There's my main blade, laser engraved, when I did a whole batch of them. Now, if you use this main blade a lot, this laser engraving on the 4110 steel will wear off. 
it will wear off. So I want to show you what we did on this next special edition. So the main blade is just perfectly sized, great for apple peeling, general tasks. I don't like using this for hard cutting because the steel is so soft. I'll use my Sheffield utility knife for that or whatever I'm carrying, my, uh, my real EDC knife. I usually have a tactical blade, EDC blade, and I'll always have a cadet. And I uh, actually pair it up with another knife I'm going to show you. Can opener, use this, uh, I wouldn't say frequently, but once in a while. And the flat blade driver I use all the time. I use this flat blade driver for adjusting scopes in the field. So between this driver and that driver, I can do a lot of scope adjustments on the rifles that I'm testing. And it's going to be used for that today. Great looking knife. Let me show you another one. Like I said, I have a ton of these. This is an autumn orange. I have like uh, some Kelty Trip Tees reflective cordage on this one. I like that. Uh, this is also uh, this one isn't reflective, I don't think. So this is another color. I didn't really engrave this one. This is just a standard cadet, but I sure liked this color when it was out. It's gone, I think. Dirty pocket lint. I hope your cadets look the same. Now, the knife I'm going to show you that I actually have been pairing this up with, I haven't really talked about it. And yeah, I'm going to get to the special edition, but we're also talking about the awesomeness of these Victorinox pocket knives, especially the Cadet, the Mini Champ. So the one thing the Cadet does not have, of course, is scissors, but it only weighs 1.6 ounces, super duper thin, easy to carry. That's one reason we love it so much. But if you want to, you can pair it up with something like a Mini Champ, and I'll put links to these below, which will take you to Pro 2A Blade HQ, the Rambler, and the Mini Classic. Now, this Mini Champ is outstanding. It's like a mini, I guess this will be my review on the Mini Champ. It's like a mini tool chest. Look at this. It's got like a three-dimensional Mini Phillips driver, cap lifter, multifunction tool right there. Standard mini blade in the same steel. On this side, we'll have like a box opener, package opener, and then we have, you know, a tool we can dig with. I've used that before. And the coolest part of the freaking mini champ are the scissors, dude. I love it. And the other ones I mentioned too also have it, but the scissors are great. This one's a little bit gummed up. I need to clean it. It's got some type of crap in there. Yeah, it's probably some type of fruit juice or something. Then we've got the nail file mini flat blade driver. And then we have a spade blade right here. So very functional. And of course, the lanyard ring, just like we have on the Cadet. This is the mini champ. A little bit pricey. Yeah, this one's a little bit pricey. It's around 60-ish or something at Blade HQ. I don't know why there's so much. The mini champs have always been expensive. But you saw the tools that it has. It's super Super nice to pair up with your cadet. Doesn't weigh that much. And these two knives together are, again, like a mini tool chest. They just cover so many of your daily tasks so well. Now, this is the discontinued, at least they're out of them, uh, Lone Wolf Blade HQ Super Tinker. This is actually a great knife. I love it. I've shown it in some tabletops. This, blade, this uh, scissor set right here is outstanding. Yeah, I love it. It's got some gunk on it, too. I use this all the time. You know, it's a sa standard Super Tinker. I think that's a subversion. It's got a toothpick, tweezers on this side. A little bit bigger blade than the Cadet because it's a, well, I wouldn't say full size, but mid-size Victorinox. I really love this coloration when they had it. It was cool. You should have bought it when I was talking about it. I've talked about the Lone Wolf knives for, for heck, two years now. Same drivers. It has a small blade. But the thing about this is it, it's much thicker and it's twice the weight of a cadet. So if we talk about integration into a system, I would not carry this knife in my pants, like a dress pants or something, like office pants. It's just too bulky. This one's perfect. I mean, this can like just fit into so many different systems, your EDC systems. Uh, what I use this for is if I have like a bag or something that I can slide into a pocket, it's really good to have along. Occasionally, I'll pocket carry it, but it just is a little bit too big and heavy for me at 3.2 ounces with the other stuff that I carry, which is 
well, I'm showing you the knives. These are in here. Uh, flashlights, rape whistles, <laughs> other stuff like that. Okay, sorry if I'm uh, get, taking my time getting to these special editions, but I'm going to lay the foundation of why these knives are so cool, why they're so useful, and I still say probably the best gifts you could ever give anybody, any of the cadets. If you really, really love somebody, you can go ahead and give them one of these new special edition Victorinox G10 hand built. You might want to pause the video and order now. Nothing fancy special cadets. There you go. In beautiful either blue or orange G10. And we are in the pure sunshine of the United States of America, the Great West in Wyoming. And so it's showing the color perfectly. Look at this. We did raised relief milled out TNP. So while that initial special edition cadet is very collectible and has gone way, way up in price, uh, I like this version even more because the G10 scales are warm to the touch. They provide a measure of traction in use and in the pocket. The one thing I'll say about the Alox handles, the aluminum handles, and for that matter, the classic handles, is they're very slick. So they can fly out of your pocket if you have a bad pocket or a slanted pocket. This will provide more traction. And then if you want, you can do what I do, put a little run of skateboard tape on here. Another advantage of the G10 versus the Alox. Alox, the skateboard tape doesn't work too well on because it's, well, you can see serrated more or less it has a texture this one's smooth and so that skateboard tape will really lock onto the handle it'll provide traction and use and more importantly traction in the pocket so you don't lose it here's the other side of the nut and fancy project victorinox cadet g10 you have a swiss cross milled in right there now something cool that you need to know about this knife and it's very cool is this is not from Victorinox per se. In other words, they did not put this knife together for us. And I say us, it's Jake at Blade HQ helped me with this project and a company you may or may not know of, it's called Flytanium. So I'm gonna talk about Flytanium more and more. But Flytanium makes special edition knife scales for blades that we love. So Jake contacted Flytanium and said, hey, we want to mill some special G10 scales for the cadet. Because again, Victorinox will not do this. That's what happened. So these are made in America, these G10 scales. The knives come in just like this one. They're pinned and they have to be deconstructed by an American staff and American workers, which they did. So they milled off the pins took the knives apart and hand reassembled them using the Flytanium G10. It is amazing we are coming in at a $75 price point since an American workforce are the ones that put this knife together. So thanks to them, thanks to Flytanium. Yeah, so we would not have this knife if it wasn't for that company. It, we, we may have done just like another Alox version, which is fantastic. I love Alox, but man, isn't this a little bit more special? Now, it has the same tool set. It's a standard cadet as far as functionality, knife steel, tool set goes. But what I decided to do on this one is to serial number the nail file. So this is, what is it? 042. 42, the blue version. I'm going to show you the orange version here in a second. Yeah, so the reason I wanted this done is because this won't wear off. Because this tool is not used frequently. The main blade one over time can wear off. And we've had some team peers with their special edition cadets who have sent them to me for signing. And this has faded out a lot because they've been using it, which is good. I like the wear and tear on it. But this is what we just did here. So you, you'll have it specially serial numbered. There's only 600 pieces of each color. So there's really not that many. I just went 100 more than my last Victorinox cadet. Maybe one of the more special cadets that's been issued to this point, I think. And I'm thinking about doing some other things with a knife. So stay subbed. Be a part of my TMP Patreon community. You'll be glad you, you do it. 
because these guys are always going to get first crack at these super cool special edition, highly collectible, almost guaranteed to go way, way up in value knives. Here's the orange version, dudes. You guys know I love orange, right? I just love orange. So fun. And these two colors match each other so well. In fact, so well that you can actually buy a matched serial numbered set of this G10 Nothing Fancy Cadet. And they will come handwritten. So this orange one is off ser serial number 103 right here. So that's what the box is going to look like when you get it. Again, these are hand uh, deconstructed, then reassembled with a Flytanium G10 scale, specially milled for this series. And so, I mean, this is 042. Let me show you the matched one. It's this one right here, the blue. I know you guys pretty well, and I know you guys right now are buying the match set, and I would think that's a smart thing to do. The match set is only 150 uh, and that's pretty cheap. A Flytanium Cadet with titanium scales, one knife is about 120. That's a Flytanium, and that's a cool knife. It has Flytanium titanium scales on it. So they've done the same thing. They just put titanium scales. I'll put a link to that if you want to get it. It's pretty cool. But it's way more than this special edition TMP knife. And the labor, I was told, again, to put these knives together was substantial. More than they had anticipated. For instance, look, they're not pinning it anymore. So these are specially created by Flytanium. Those are mini inset nuts into the G10 material. And then you have mini torque screws which secure it. How cool is that? Look at the radiusing I wanted done. Because we had a couple prototypes come out. They're a little bit sharp. I was like, let's radius out a little bit more. I hate sharp edges on my pocket knives. And then the final cadet got it just right. Look at how radius and smooth that is. So against the Alox version, you're going to gain maybe just a, a little bit in width because G10 is a thicker material, but it's still very slender and still very light at 1.6 ounces. What a cool knife, man. I'm so excited about these. So is Jake. When we saw these in, in their final form, we're like, oh, dude, those are so cool. So cool. So here's the match set, 103. This is going to be my set. I just took 103. I should have got a low serial number. Uh, I did get the 007 serial number, though. So there you go. So I have the 007 series, and I'll show you inset video somewhere along the way. My James Bond matched set. Eat your heart out. How cool is that, dudes? That is so cool. So you have a knife here with the latest edition that is dripping in first and second cool. Tons and tons and tons. So it'll be highly collectible. Uh, I'm going to warn you right now, when you get these, you're just going to want to carry them because they're so great to carry with this G10. So, And I want you to. I mean, I, I love you guys getting these special edition knives. They're so cool and fun. But when you send them to me to sign, I really like it when, <coughs> when you have wear on them because I like you enjoying them, getting out and using them. The signing thing, by the way, is only for my donors. And uh, follow the instructions. If you contact me through Patreon, um, you can ship off your cadets to me and I'll sign them. And if you pay for more return postage, you're going to pay for the return postage. Then I might throw you in a couple of goodies too. I've been doing that. And that's how I've been doing my giveaways lately. That's a Victorinox G10 cadet. Uh, before I end, I want to show you my old Victorinox, not Victorinox, but Wagner Spartan. Look at this. In timber oak camo. This thing's been long gone. They're the same company now. I actually sharpened this one. Probably needs to go again. And this has a bead blasted finish on its blade. So cool. But it's thicker than the Cadet, right? So it has the same functionality, but way thicker than the Cadet. So when you know me with SAWC preponderance, uh, dude, this is what I go for. I, I mean, I carry these still, but I way prefer, well, now the G10 Cadet, but I still love the Alox ones too. So outstanding, so outstanding. All right, guys, thanks so much. Good luck in buying your probably match sets. I, I'm pretty sure those are going to fly out the door. And then we do have individual knives, too, if you don't have the money to buy two. But good luck in getting them. Come back and comment to how much you like them, how much you use them, your other cadet experiences. Uh, this is a knife that was, 
I'm not sure if it was going to be continued by Victorinox when I started TMP and I picked up on it and I started talking about it and basically holding it out as the standard of measure for EDC pocket knives. And ever since then, it, it has seemed to flourish. And then you have companies like Flytanium coming out and making super cool mods for it. And this one might be the coolest yet. There you go. Undocking from the mothership as we uh, do an outro with Dog Diggity. Looking for manure, no doubt. Thanks for being a subscriber. Uh, at least subscribe. Thanks for being a donor here in the project. I can't and won't do it without you. This is the Nut and Fancy Project. It is an adventure, boys, in cool, cool gear. Over and out.